What's up YouTube? Hello fellow Christmas. This is Artum from Germany and today's video is about a very happy announcement which I have discovered just a couple of minutes ago. So hopefully I'm one of the first ones on YouTube to share this with you. <clears throat> As you can see, just let me make it full screen. Marvel Puzzle Quest is going to introduce new characters, three of them, and those three characters are Rogue, as you can see, Nightcrawler here, and Gambit, so the X-Men are back. Very happy to hear that, because for a while Marvel and Fox were in a conflict over certain characters whose movie rights belong to Fox, like X-Men, Fantastic Four, Deadpool, and those characters should not be used with... Well, they could be used in Marvel content, but Fox would come in and I guess what they wanted, they're just fussed over it and said, no, those movie character rights belong to us, but then Marvel said, but we still have the rights to the essential characters so we can advertise or distribute them in games or merchandise. So I guess the conflict is over. As you can see, otherwise MPQ would not announce X-Men characters, new ones in particular for the game. And the first one is going to be Rogue. So Marvel Puzzle Quest updated its official Facebook page with this uh, title screen, as well as uh, a new um, a new discussion topic on the forum of D3 Go. And if you go, if you click on it, you will be sent to the uh, the official Marvel site, which is this one. And in a interview, senior producer Josh Austin talks about Rogue being the first out of the three, and he explains her abilities. So people can expect that Rogue will be featured with some of her of her most known abilities like stealing the powers of others and her punching which is uh, particular famous from the comics and uh, certain uh, animated series back in the 90s 80s personally i did not think that any x-men were going to be released for this year I shared my opinion quite a few times on the official Facebook page of MPQ. But you never know, you can still believe something and or be convinced of something and later you find out that it changed and this time it changed for the better of the players, for myself as well. I am looking forward to Rogue. She will be on uh, she will be in the game on the 28th of uh, September, the 28th of September, sorry. So here in Germany, we already have Thursday, but for other people like in the States, good luck. I mean, she will be there in, I guess in 12 hours for my time period. And yeah. That's actually it. I might do another video about her when she is implemented in the game and explain her abilities. Some of the the abilities are unique, while there's one that is already in the game, but I don't want to... I mean, just read the article if you want to know about that. Well, that's actually it. I hope... Uh, for my future predictions, I hope that uh, the next character might, possi might possibly be either Crystal or Maximus from Inhumans. If not, maybe Jessica Jones. Otherwise, after the X-Men characters, I guess they will go to the Ragnarok ones. Like I said, 5-star Thor is my prediction, 4-star Loki, 3- or 4-star Heimdall, and as event bosses, either Hela or Surtur.
So just let me know in the comments what you think about it. Are you satisfied that X-Men are back in the game? Are you not? Were you expecting other characters? What are your thoughts on Rogue being the first introduced today for Germany's time period or tomorrow for other countries? So that's it, actually. I hope you liked my announcement, my short news video. Please leave a like or a dislike. Leave a comment in the description, in the section. And please subscribe to my channel. Look forward to my next videos. I wish you a good night if you're in Germany uh, or a good day if you're somewhere else. <laughs> Keep on questing, have fun, until next time, bye!